Hey guys, it's the SFAN 001 for part number five of Let's Play Battleship on the PS3 for some reason. Anyway, last time we finished up the third mission and now we are on the fourth mission and this time we must protect the USS Missouri or Missouri or however it's pronounced. Okay, which button is it? There we go, that was weird. Like, I don't know, I guess I was thinking about the controller wrong. Anyway. So yeah, we have to protect the USS Missouri, which is right down here. This is the by far the most powerful ship in the game, and it's really, really useful uh, once we get to it later. Uh, we're going to send him over there. We're going to send this one here so we have our support positions. Uh, these two will engage soon enough. That looks like an enemy somewhere, and that one's coming for this guy. Uh, he'll take out a lot of enemies and stuff on his own, too, which is kind of nice. Okay, this mission I remember giving me a decent amount of trouble on the highest difficulty. It was one of only two major parts of the game that gave me a lot of trouble. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I thought our goal was to protect the USS Missouri. And we also can't climb down that. And I stupidly just walked right into an electric fence. Oh, right, because I'm... Right, right, I'm supposed to protect these guys because they can't deal with, like, five or six little aliens on their own because... reasons. Come on. Ooh, you know what? Who wants missile? That's probably going to suck to be an alien today. Come on. Where are those missiles at? Ah, uh, was I the only one that saw nothing? there saw nothing at the ground i don't know i didn't i didn't see anything i doubt you guys did either if i didn't all right so it looks like we got a few more enemies spawning in but yeah i didn't i didn't see that hit anything so i don't know what they're talking about but anyway i do know that we get another new weapon on this mission and it's a really badass weapon at that so i cannot wait to use it quite a few enemies down here man they are being a bit tough today. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this thing down, even though it's not very useful. Might as well have it for extra support. Well, it'll at least make him shoot at it instead of shooting at our guys, so... That one I actually kind of saw landing. Is that it? No, there's still, like, one more. Oh, uh, this whole mission's gonna take place in this little airplane graveyard area, so... Will you guys just go ahead and deactivate this? I only want to take one video for the. I'm only going to take one video for this mission because it can be either really short or really long, so may or may not require editing and stuff. So are you guys, like, going to break this anytime soon? It would be very much appreciated if you wanted to actually do some work here. Like, actually destroying this, you know? I think that would be kind of helpful. So yeah, the USS Missouri, tight, uh, by the way, the this is very incorrect to the plot of the movie, if you actually, for some reason, care about the movie. Uh, it's very, very inaccurate to it, because they, the Missouri doesn't even come into play until pretty late in the movie. So they're going to destroy that, this is going to blow up this thing. And I should probably go check out my ships sometime soon, just because I haven't looked at it in a moment. Yeah, let's do that now. Why not? Okay, it looks like... Okay, the Missouri maybe cannot engage, so... Uh, I'm going to move him down here to engage with them, and this one's going to engage this one. Because they're not doing quite as well as I was hoping. You need to be a bit careful here, because I don't want to, like, fail on that. I mean, you won't fail immediately if a ship gets destroyed, unless it's the Missouri or another ship you have to protect during a couple of missions. So, what's up with no subtitles? To establish comms with the Missouri. Here. Ooh, well, that wasn't good. That is our new enemy, the Alien Sniper. Oh, and he's bringing in a very phallic-shaped dropship. Semi-phallic-shaped dropship. So, the Alien Snipers. Uh, these guys can actually be quite dangerous if they get you in their sights. They fire an alien rail gun, which can kill stuff very quickly. You will want to be very careful around it and not rush around like I am, unless you are picking up lots and lots of wild cards, because I really actually need all of these, because our ships are not doing as well as I might have liked. 
All right, so what do we want to get? We can't uh, put anything on the Missouri yet, so... Uh, uh, cancel that, and let's see what we have on this one. Uh, gun missile torpedoes. This one has gun missile torpedoes. They're basically identical, unless... Oh, that's actually... Oh, that's actually a really tough choice. Uh, both of those would be fine, so we'll just upgrade both of them. Why not? Uh, which one has a shorter radar space? This one, absolutely. And we will give him a ship control. Or her. I don't know why I'm saying him, especially when ships are referred to as uh, females a lot of the time. And that one will go down with no problems whatsoever. Like, five seconds left to spare. So that's another vehicle down. And that one should now engage this. Uh, they're going to be okay. Yeah, they're fine. Uh, we'll give this one a repair card. And... Uh, why not put that on the sub? Or... Yeah, well, I don't know. Honestly, I don't even think it matters that much. It really doesn't matter that much because the ships barely even go down. I don't know why I'm concentrating so much on that. Okay, so there's going to be a couple of alien snipers and thugs on this mission, so we got to be kind of careful. And I think that might be one of them. i got to be a little bit careful here. Don't want to die. I hope they can't come around behind me. They may be able to, though, so... Now I was going to try to use a pistol a bit, because we're going to be switching it out soon, but this game didn't want me to do that, so whatever. Okay, so they can't come around behind me, so this is not a bad spot at all. At least for this portion of the fight, it won't be later, but it's not bad for now. So, where you at, alien? Man, I'm just not having the best luck today with this. I should be, though. It was a good day. I got my Platinum in Black Ops 2 finally today. So, spoiler alert for a few Platinum from, like, probably 10 Platinums from now, now that I think about it, but... Okay, if you see the tip of his gun glow, that's usually a cue to run away. Why can this guy run so easily and, like, dive out of the way? Come on, now. That looks like... Is that another one? No, that's just a normal guy. Alright, uh, probably should have just been using support calls or something instead. That probably would have made more sense. Man, this guy's a bit annoying to kill. He's running around a lot. Got him, got him. So, we can now run up here, pick up a new card, and, more importantly, well, looks like there's another alien back here first, so let's take him down. Where are you at? Come on. Good job. Got him. And let's go get that card. We want all these cards for sure. Reagan out. Reagan out. Alright, plant the C4 explosive. And our whole five second timer to run away because logic. So we're going to take the railgun. Uh it's a pretty solid gun. Like I said, it's a little tough to use though. Reagan. Okay, so we're going to wait for some aliens to spawn in. Alright, so that dropship is about to send in four or five aliens. What better thing to do than to lock on, go all three shots, wait for some aliens to drop in wherever they are, and then annihilate! That was kind of anticlimactic. That didn't do what I had hoped. It's usually a little bit more explosive. That was more like what I wanted right there, was it killed a couple of them. Uh, this gun does have infinite ammo, so don't worry about that. It will reload. It just has it's it just has to reload this way, over, an overheat, sort of the way that the crawl works. So that's good to know. Okay, where does he drop at? Uh, right here? Up here? Yep. I couldn't remember if he was right up here or not. Oh, that was a terrible shot. There we go. That was like a quadruple kill or something. Jeez. 
no chance at all. Man, this is such a cool gun, though. I mean, like I said, it's not the most practical in the world, and it can single shot like that or like that, even though it's really not that strong that way. Man, is this a good gun. At least for some enemies. It's not the best thing in the world, but it, it also works really well against the thugs if you don't have a shotgun, which is how this mission is going to go, so it's definitely a good thing that we have it. Okay, killed one of them, and it looks like they have gotten on to where I am, so it's another hit. Okay, I'm getting impatient. Uh, artillery strike. And I think that killed a couple of them. Yep, we're good. All right, sweet, we got the checkpoint. Now comes probably the hard, like I said, one of the few really difficult parts of the missions. Okay, well, first things first, we have to do this objective and uh, have to take out a couple more alien ships first, but that's not gonna be too big a deal. And where's the Missouri? Right there, nice. We got the Missouri in a support position. Is it extremely overpowered? Yes. So we're gonna move the submarine down to here. We're gonna give this one, uh, actually no, we're gonna give this to the Missouri because the Missouri is really powerful. Give you a ship control and we'll take out this one hopefully quickly. Look how weak all these alien ships are though. Like, they travel across the galaxy to get here and you're being taken out by pathetic human battleships. I mean, seriously, you would think they'd be a little bit stronger than that. I don't know, again, I've criticized the logic of this as an of this alien movie, even in terms of other alien movies before. So, yeah. So that leaves them with maybe one more ship to take out. Oh, three more ships to take out, right. Oh, four more ships. Okay, so I don't believe the mission ends just by killing all the enemy ships, so... We are going to be careful here because this is where the mission gets a little trickier. Because thugs drop out if I didn't already kill him. It might not have been, that might not be the one that drops in a thug, but at least one of these does. There might be multiple of them, so. Okay, so they also have to kill off those last few ships. That's how we pretty much finish the mission. That and kill off a good number of enemies here. So we're going to grab another ship control gameplay. And we're going to retreat to our hiding spot. Okay, he's going to drop in another group up there. No good. Uh, on. Got him. Oh, what? Did he survive that? How? Okay, that one was my fault, but... This could be a problem because a few of them might survive at the same time, which is really bad for me. There we go. Got him. Okay, where are you at? Come out. Come out. I know you're hiding somewhere. There they are. And that was a terrible shot. That may be a thug or a sniper up there. I can't really tell, and I missed everything. Okay, I think I'm probably going to use a missile here. Ooh, yeah, one of them is about to get taken out, so I will... You know what, let's go ahead and fix that right now before I forget and he ends up dying and I end up being embarrassed. Uh, we will give them a repair module. Alright, well, they're going to have these ships taken out for sure soon, but we'll go ahead and use a couple of ship controls here just to speed up the process a little bit. Almost there, we got it, I think. Yep, there we go, got it. Okay, solid kill. That leaves us with three enemy ships in the water to destroy. And, oh, well, you know what I say we do? Let's give an introduction to the USS Missouri. Missouri. This thing is so freaking powerful. Look at how quickly it took that thing out. It uses, like, what is it, 16-inch guns or something ridiculous like that. Just absolutely annihilates everything that gets in its way. Oh, it's such a great ship. 
So now we got two ships engaging this one, so hopefully this one's okay. I'll save my last ship control for now, just in case. You never really know, but I don't think I'll need it. It's just good to have. Okay, looks like another alien drop ship. Okay, this I think is the problematic one. This has got to be the one that drops in the thug. Okay, I killed one, but it wasn't a thug, so... There's the thugs. Okay, that's what I was exactly worried about, because now they're going to have me trapped here, and I'm not loaded for this, so... I guess I can run for a second, but... I may die here, so... God, they do not go down. Okay, I freaking hate this part. I mean, seriously. You give me two or three thugs at once with no shotgun to take them out with. It's just, it's annoying. Like, seriously, why wouldn't you just make this, like, a little more reasonable or give us a shotgun or something? I mean, seriously. All right, but guys, it's going to take a moment to get back there because, unfortunately, there's no checkpoints in the middle of this section. So, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back again right after I launch the missiles, and I bet they miss everything, don't they? Although, I'd be very happy if they'd actually hit at something. Because I fired them right where the thugs are going to be at, and man, it's like giving my game some slowdown. Of course, it literally only... Actually, I think it killed one of them. Nice, alright, we killed the second. I think we got him, guys. I think that strategy worked perfectly. So it took me two more tries, because I don't know why I didn't even think of doing that the first time. I was just being really stupid on that. Because that was obviously the much smarter, better strategy to use, and I didn't think of doing it. Oh, how stupid I can be at times. Oh, well. At least we took it out, so that's really all that matters at this point. And we're going to go back into ship control real quick. See, so yeah, it took me two more tries to do that. Because my second try was also a failure. Uh, we're going to... Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just... Or, you know what? Uh, yeah, why not? Because I literally have no purpose of those otherwise. And we're going to keep him actually up there in case something else comes that way. We're going to give you torpedoes and ship control because why not? Alright, so we just gotta kill this guy off. And we got him. Nice. So that means there's only one more enemy ship out there. The other ones will hopefully take him out. Yeah, he's already down to like half health, so we should be fine. We just gotta hold out for another couple minutes and we'll be okay. So, what's gonna pop in on us now? Is another drop ship coming in? I don't... Yeah, there is another dropship. I don't think there are any more thugs. I hope I'm correct on my assumption with that, because they're so annoying to take out without a friggin' shotgun. Killed a couple enemies there. Oh, that was terrible. I didn't charge it all the way. Okay, yeah, that's the same dropship leaving. That's good. All right, then. I'm going to save this other airstrike, though, just in case I'm wrong. You never really know, and that can always be helpful to have. I think it's the Missouri Strike as well, which is probably the best out of all of them. Or one of the best, at least. One, get in sight, and I missed. Did not lead my target correctly. Okay, seriously, can you stop dropping in more enemies? It's getting kind of annoying. How have they not taken out that last enemy ship yet? Seriously. Well, I just took out like four of them at once, so I guess it didn't really matter. I mean, this is fine, you know, we can just keep killing off some aliens. Alright, let's not die in the easier portion of this section, so... Man, you take... I feel like you do take a while to heal in this game, which is one thing that's a bit surprising, I guess. I guess it was a way to try to make it harder. Okay, how have they not taken this thing out yet? Seriously, I thought we had like two ships on it. Wow, you guys are so slow with this. This is ridiculous. 
Okay, maybe now you'll actually do something. I'm not wasting the last ship control, though, because I'm worried I'm going to need it later. And you know what? Why not move him into a spore position, just in case? God, this video is 28 minutes of raw footage right now, and we're not even done yet. All this is, like, very near the end of the mission, at least. It won't be 28 minutes long, though, because obviously I'm cutting out those couple of fail- or a failure. There! Oh, I didn't hit him? Man, these guys are running around quite a bit better than you'd think. That ship's down to 38% health, but that should be okay, because I think we're going to be fine at the end of it. Uh, will you just, like, sit still for a second, please? Man, he is not sitting still. God, how much coffee did you drink, dude? It's not cool. Well, I guess it is supposedly fairly good for you, so I'm not the biggest fan of coffee. And we got a checkpoint. Got a kill there. All right, so we're at the end now. We just got to get back to the extraction point. Oh, you're going to duck on me, eh? Stand up. Got him. So you got to pretty much charge it twice to be able to get a kill. And three to get that sort of explosive effect. So we're just going to rush on through with our machine gun, just in case we encounter another alien. Like right there. And that was not what I meant to press. Why did I push L2? Oh, I'm going to die here. I meant to hit circle and I hit L2 for some reason. Okay, I did not get hit by anything, so that's bull... That's just... I don't even know, dude. I did not get hit by anything there. You guys saw that. There was nothing that shot me there. I was fully behind cover, so there was nothing that could have hit me. I knew I was going to regret doing this Let's Play at some point, and I didn't think it would happen quite this quickly. I mean, this mission, the only hard part of this is that double thug section. But now I'm, like, failing at this part, and it's Good really work, not Marcus. that hard. Now head to the Overlook for Xville. Reagan, out. And there are no aliens at all this time, because logic. Sure, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? All right, then. At least that's done. This is, like I said, one of the two bad missions, in, or really bad missions in the game. The other one is the sixth mission. That one's also kind of problematic. I don't think I can do anything right now, so... Someone want to take that out for me? Oh, crap. Peg, or, those aren't peg bombs. Those are, uh, wraps things that are really weird and probably Call of Duty ripped them off a few years later, but whatever. And we got them. At least we killed all of them. So that went surprisingly well. And they disabled the force field for us. How kind. And we got another sniper. Alright, you know what? Eat the end of my gun. Seriously. Seriously, that's what you need to eat. You need to eat the end of my gun. Because I couldn't think of a better hey, comeback. That's just jerkish they spawned him right there. <laughs> Like, seriously, right when you think you're done with the mission. Oh, nope, uh, sniper guy comes in out of nowhere. All right, guys, that was a lot more painful than it should have been. But it's done. It's gonna be a fairly long video. Mathis, ONI has tracked dozens of dropships leaving Nihoa in a resupply operation. Be prepared. The entire island is hot, but the approach from the west is most accessible. We must secure the beachhead and take out any jamming devices we find. From there, we're going to move south toward the Salanoa Research Facility. Intel confirms the aliens have disabled the tsunami warning system, making it nearly impossible for us to triangulate their ship's positions. We've got to activate the emergency generators to re-engage it. From there, we'll head east. That's where the alien supply operation is based. We destroy it and their logistics chain is severed effectively starving their forces all over the archipelago. They want to divide and conquer? <laughs> Two can play at that game. All right then, guys. That'll be it for this part. Next time, we do the fifth mission. See you guys then.